that we have and the ones that I am wearing. Ring one. Yes. Okay. Bagay ba ito sa akin? Bagay na bagay po kay ma'am. Pero iyang lahat ng suot ni ma'am is meron niyan talagang purpose kung bakit niya suot. Uh, so it is a fashion yes. statement lang. Yes. Okay. So yung mga suot ni ma'am is for protection natin before tayo mag-ride ng motorcycle outside. No? So nandiyan ang helmet, protection natin sa head natin. Also the elbow pads and the knee pads. And lastly, meron siyang suot na gloves and also the sleeves. Uh -huh. Protection natin yan against the, uh, the UV rays ng sunlight natin. Okay? And of course, yung gloves. Dahil, kala ko minsan yung gloves pang angas lang. Pero mm -hmm. ano ba yung dahilan? Main purpose kasi nan, kasi if ever trend, di ba, na magkaroon ng shortcomings outside during riding, ano ba yung unang if you know fall or ano ba yung unang magko-contact na parts ng body ng isang rider. So, syempre, di ba, kamay. So, kailangan may protection tayo against para hindi magkaroon ng damage yung body parts din natin, especially yung kamay. So, I didn't know, akala ko yung mga motocross riders na may ganito, kailangan talaga lahat na whole year, not only for the practice. Yes, not only for practice, but also I feel very, very safe right now, and I have to tell you a secret. I know how to drive a car, but I don't know how to drive a motorcycle. Madali lang yan. So, may kita yan natin later on kasi magkakaroon tayo ng stay more ID. Ah, buti na lang may ganito ako, no? Yes. But if ever anything happens, safe naman ako. Okay, so it looks like ready, ready na ako. Let's go. So Raymond, what do we have here? What am, what am I going to be riding today? Okay, so we will be using the all-new Click 150i. So it's kind of scooter, it's fully automatic kind of scooter or fully automatic kind of motorcycle. Mm. So dito natin malalaman ano ba yung mga basic controls muna kung paano siya gagamitin. And also, we will uh, practice the proper riding posture then or yung tamang pag-upo sa motorcycle. Wow, pati yung sa pag-drive ng motorcycle, kailangan may posture. Yes. <laughs> okay, so guys, okay, muna na natin. Okay, so before before I go, kailangan nyo natin, siyempre, ano ba yung this is the Okay, this is the, this is the brakes. Alright. The rear brake and the front brake. Okay, so if you want to slow down, use the rear brake. If you want to pull stop, use both brakes. Okay, not only the front. Then also, we have here the throttle. So, if you want to speed, or magbibigay ng motion sa motorcycle natin. You want to mas mabilis, pero may kailangan or may tamang timpla or may tamang piga sa trote. Kasi hindi ba sa basa yung mga open niya. Pwede ah. kang uh, pwede kang accident. So, so parang sa parang sa kotse kapag yes. may clutch? Yes, kapag may clutch. Or parang And then accelerator? Yes. Kapag mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-mag-m
All right, so I think we learned all we need to know. You think I'm ready? Yes. And also, kaya rin pala, kaya rin nasa left side ang, uh, ang, ang rider kasi yung mismong marker niya nasa right side. Para may iwasan kang mapaso or may iwasan mapaso yung mismong rider. Ah, so, now I know. Now I know. So, dahil dito nga yung marker. So at least, lalo na pag mainit, no? Yes, oh, lalo na pag mainit. Uh -oh. kailangan kailangan medyo secure na hindi ka mapasok. Ayun. Kasi once na gamit ang motorcycle, lalo na matagal na or sa long ride, mainit ang macro or yung exhaust pipe. So, when so how this, do I take this out? Gagan na rin ko lang? No, so when this engaging, hawak ka dito, both sa handlebar, then ipupush mo yung motorcycle. So, yes. Uh, release mo muna yung brake. Ah. Okay. Push, then release after pushing. Okay? Yeah. And then press brake. Yes, na okay na. Then, sa ika, yung option na sinabi ko sa'yo, pwedeng swing or pwedeng dito na sa side. Okay, okay. Na-mounted to the left. Yeah. Yan. So, sa posture din, kailangan din natin yung mismong sitting position. Kailangan hindi ka rin masyadong malapit dun sa mismong, uh, ano natin, so, sa mismong okay, handlebar. Uh, actually, uh, didepende yan sa mismong size or sa mismong height ng rider. Okay? So, doon siya. So, medyo ipod ka lang ng konti kasi medyo matangkad ka. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And also, yung riding posture natin, kailangan yung ating wrist. Okay, pag ginawa ka natin na yung throttle, so hawak sa throttle ma. Yung wrist niya, forming 120 degree lang. So, hindi siya nakaganitong posisyon. Kasi if nakaganito, for example, then bigla mong na-open yung throttle, full power na kaagad. Pwede kang ilipad ng motorcycle if hindi mo siya kayang i-handle. Okay? So, kailangan hawak sa motor, ang ah, hawak sa throttle for 120. Then, kailangan itong elbows natin slightly bend. Okay? Hindi dapat matigas. Para sa pagliko, hindi natin maiwasan yung maiilang tayo during turning. Okay? And also, kailangan yung shoulder natin relax din. Medyo nakababaya. Okay, then yung kailangan din, once na nag-ride na tayo, outside. Yung paan natin, may makikita kasi tayong rider na nandito, ina-engage nila itong uh, mismong foot peg, then dito nila ilalagay yung paa, which is wrong. So, kailangan kasi natin, yung feet natin, inline siya sa leg shield. So, kailangan yung both feet natin nasa loob, nung, uh, sa, sa baba, yung panel, nung motorcycle. Mm, at... I think it's because kapag may ibang motorcycle na dumaan din, okay, yes, pwedeng, or... okay, pwedeng masagi yung ating uh, paa, pwedeng magkaroon ng accident. Ayun. So, narinig nyo yan yung mga motorcycle drivers dapat hindi dyan naka-engage kapag dito lang malapit sa iyong motorcycle. Yan! Okay. Excited ako. <laughs> okay. So, okay. check natin. Nagawa na natin yung proper riding posture. So, paano ba muna i-start yung motorcycle? Okay, so sa tamang pag-start ng motorcycle, kailangan mo muna natin switch yung ignition switch natin. Switch on. Okay? It's on. Yes. And also, pag pinindot mo yung starter, hindi ka agad yung magsa-start. Kasi isang safety feature ni Honda Scooter, kailangan mo muna mag-brake. Okay? Uh -huh. Brake first before uh, pushing the starter button. I'm gonna push it. Yes. Oh! oh. Okay, okay, so uh, yun yung tamang pag-start, yung motorcycle. Then, uh, all set na. Ang gagawin na kasi natin after starting, syempre, familiarization na ng throttle. Okay. Pero hindi, hindi muna natin gagawin yung kasi naka-disengage, hindi pa masyadong, hindi alam ni ma'am kung paano yung tamang uh, piga sa throttle ba lumipad. So, kailangan natin muna i-engage sa center stand yung motorcycle before natin gawin yung exit. So, before we start na mag-ride na talaga or under na yung motorcycle natin, kailangan properly coordinated si throttle at saka yung brakes natin. Okay? So, unahin natin sa throttle. Ano ba yung tamang uh, timpla sa pagpiga sa throttle? So, iiwasan natin. First one, iiwasan natin syempre yung forming na ganito yung degree ng ating wrist. Kasi mapapansin nyo, watch this. Pwede ka niyang ilipad if ever na ganun yung power ng ating motorcycle. Relax ka mo. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> so kailangan sa pag-open ng throttle, kailangan yung ating uh, wrist is forming 120. Then, kailangan yung sounds. Kasi doon natin malalaman kung mabilis or mabagal yung takbo ng motorcycle. Okay? So, open lang natin. Yan. Yan yung tamang sounds lang kung saan normal lang yung riding natin outside. So, hindi mabilis, hindi rin mabagal. 
Okay? So, after throttle, okay, kailangan din natin malaman. So, nag-speed nag -speed up tayo, kaya alamin din natin paano papahintuin or pa paano papaslow down yung motorcycle. Okay, before before natin gawin, so, if, if for example, naka-open yan, riding ka outside, you wish you want to uh, slow down, just close first the throttle, then brake. Okay? Dahan-dahan na yun. Yes, dahan-dahan din yung brake. Kasi kung masyadong malakas yung pagbiga or yung pressure na pagbiga sa brakes, bigla din yung full stop natin. Okay. Bigla rin yung stop natin. Okay, so do the exercise, open the throttle first. Konti lang. Okay, open, then maintain. Sipin mo ma'am, nagra-ride ka na outside. Just look straight. Okay. Oh, close pa yung ice cream, no? <laughs> So slow down, close the throttle first, then brake. Okay? So again, go. Okay, maintain. Just maintain. Open first throttle. Open it. Maintain. Okay, nice one. Close, then brake. Okay? So yun yung uh, basic coordination ng throttle at brakes natin. Okay, what do I do? Okay. So now, check muna natin. Ano ba yung, may tanong kasi si Ma'am kanina, ano ba yung idling stop? Okay, ano yung so ganito siya gagana. Okay? If you uh, switch on the idling stop system, uh -huh. okay? Iilaw yung mismong uh, idling stop indicator natin. Okay. Pero kailangan may sapat muna, may sapat kasi na kilometer bago natin paandarin yung mismong motorcycle para mag-engage yung idling stop. So, 10 kilometers per hour yung pag-under natin before mag-deploy yung mismong idling stop natin. So, hindi siya agad-agad magsa-stop once na in-engage natin. Okay. Kailangan mainit din muna first yung mga. Ayan. Okay, so I think I've learned all that I need to know about the safety in riding a motorcycle. It's time to get the road. So now, I am so proud to introduce to you one of the two lady instructors that we have here at the Honda Safety Driving Center. And her name is Miss Joy. Not only is she an instructor, she is also a unit head here. So good, good day. Good day to you, ma'am. Are you excited? Yes, very. <laughs> I am so excited as well because she's going to be teaching me the safety tips of how yes. to drive properly. Because I actually know how to drive. But I'm sure, meron ka rin masasabi sa akin kung ano ba yung tama, ano ba yung madalas na ginagawa ng isang driver na mali. Okay, so yung madalas na ginagawa ng isang driver is yung common yung mga nagiging habits nila. Sample dito is yung the steering handwork and yung proper na pag-use ng clutch natin, especially for manual transmission. Mm. Kasi most of the time, na, laging naka-press into clutch yung ating mga driver. No? So, ang tawag natin doon is clutch driver, which is unsafe po. Kasi anytime, pwedeng ma-press nila yung clutch kahit hindi kailangan. So, yung tendency, so, un, uh, uh, hindi common or hindi proper yung pag-use natin ng mga pedals control natin. And mm. also, yung mga safety checking regarding blind spot, kung bakit na-accident ang isang driver, is because the mirrors is limited lang yung nakikita. So, they need to do safety checking na tinatawag po natin regarding mm -hmm. sa pagda-drive natin. Hindi lang basta uh, mag-base sa mirrors or sa harap natin. So, kailangan we need to use safety checking. Itatanong ko lang, bakit marami nagsasabi na pagbabaing driver hindi marunong mag-drive? Oh, hindi totoo po yan. Oh, Actually, syempre. I compete other instructor natin and uh, okay naman po, wala naman silang masabi sa akin regarding sa driving ko, good driving skills, and uh, natutunan po natin lahat yan dito sa Honda Safety Driving Center. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, so, lady driver po tayo. Lady, yeah, go yes. lady drivers. Lady drivers. <laughs> <laughs> so, when it comes to driving an automatic or a manual transmission car, what is the difference? Are there different safety features for each? Or are there different safety uh, procedures that we need to follow that's different from each? Okay. So, regarding manual transmission, so we need to uh, coordinate with each other regarding the pedal controls and also yung gear positioning. Niya. How about automatic transmission? Automatic transmission has the, what we call a stabilizer. So, a stabilizer, you need to put your left foot on that side to more stable on driving, while driving, especially when emergency braking. When you press the brake harder, so a tendency, the driver will go forward. Okay. And that stabilizer will stabilize you not to go forward that much. Okay, so more stable 
when driving, automatic transmission, and also they, they have also four manual transmission, so it's stabilizer when we call it stabilizer. Mm, I didn't know that. I actually drive also an automatic. I thought it was rest lang ng pa So they, they, sometimes they call it foot rest, uh, mm. but the uh, real thing that is it's it's called a stabilizer. A stabilizer. Yes. So it's not a foot rest. Yes. It's a stabilizer. It's a stabilizer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Sige, I am excited because you guys also teach. I mean, a lot of people thought that you have to go to an actual driving school, but here at the Honda Safety Driving Center, they also have their own type of driving school. And so I am very very excited because I thought that the only places that you can go to are just the driving schools. But apparently here, so Honda, they also have their safety driving center, and they teach you everything about how to drive, what are the safety procedures, and this is the car that we're driving! Yes! So every time um, we teach uh, what we call the lane discipline. So always on the middle of the lane in case you're going just a straight. So the thing is, to check that, the broken line is a line or line like that in the corner of the windshield. So it means you're on the center. Gusto nyo ba kami makita? You know what to do. Just subscribe lang sa Blade TV.